my name is Dallas Keith. I'm here with Brian Askins from Secure Insurance Group. And today we're going to talk about something that a lot of people don't even know exists, but can benefit a lot of people, and that's hospital indemnity plans, right? Tell us a little bit about why hospital indemnity plans were even invented, why, why they're here, what's the purpose of them? Well, hospital indemnity plans are, were invented to help fill the gaps of a Medicare Advantage plan. Okay. So, for example, I'll just use a couple of examples here. A Medicare Advantage plan, let's just say you stay five nights in the hospital. Mm -hmm. With most Medicare Advantage plans, you have around a $300 per day copay that you have to pay. So you stay five nights, that's $1,500, okay? It's a good chunk of change. It's a good there. chunk of change. That $1,500 does go towards your max out of pocket mm -hmm. on whatever your plan's max out of pocket is. Uh, but to prevent you from having to come up with $1,500 out of your pocket, you can have a hospital indemnity plan, which reimburses you the full $1,500. Wow. Okay? It also reimburses you for emergency room. Okay? And a lot of times it pays even more than the actual uh, copay the cost, for, the, yeah. the co for your emergency room because it gives you some extra in case you have to have an antibiotic or something like that. It also helps pay for, it, it reimburses you for the cost of your ambulance. Wow. Okay? Uh, and then some plans have different copay amounts. Right but kind of overall, uh, and then it also helps pay for outpatient observation. Okay. And one of the best things that I, I love about the hospital need plans, it gives you the, the, the chance to add a cancer rider. Right. And which is one of the, the major reasons that people hit their max out of pocket on the Medicare Advantage plans. Because with cancer, all Medicare Advantage plans, you have to pay 20% of the cost of the chemo or radiation treatments. And as we all know, it, if say you have a, you know, a $3,500 to $4,000 max out of pocket, it won't take you but just a treatment or two, You're just there. A, a couple of treatments to hit yeah. the, the, the max out of pocket, which is 3500 at 20%. You're paying 20%. And so what I love to do with those is, let's just say you have a $4,000 max out of pocket. Okay. You can do a $4,000 cancer rider, which will pay for one year of your max out of pocket. Or if you do an $8,000 cancer rider, it pays for two years. Because you and I both, as we've discussed before, yeah. the probability of cancer treatments running from one calendar year to the next is really high. Right. Yeah. So, so now you mentioned, you kept saying reimburses you, reimburses you. So this is something that pays the individual, not the hospital, correct? Correct. So you file a claim, and, the, and I love the claims process. It's so mm -hmm. simple. The claims process, all you have to have is UBO4 form. Which is your which is your discharge paper? Until he's done a few. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, and the claims there's no claim forms. You just fax it in. They see the the admitted date, discharge date, or a visit to the uh, ride ambulance or visit to the emergency room. They see those type things, and uh, and they cut you a check. And uh, I've had some people get checks as as high as eighteen thousand six hundred dollars. Wow. And uh, and I'll kind of explain that. But uh, the hospital need plan is just a tremendous way. And you can buy these for about $30 a month in right. most situations. Now, the cancer writer will add a little extra to that. Uh, but for about $30 a month, uh, and if you're hospitalized basically once every five years, you kind of broke even on the plan. But it prevents you from having to come up with larger sums of money right. when things may be tight. Well, and, uh, and like you said, most advantage plans in our area are zero premium. So... People are saying, well, I'll take that because I can't afford a supplement. Well, this is a way that you can kind of have the best of both worlds. It's not a supplement, but helps cover those big costs. Absolutely. And one of the great things I love about it, let's just say you're between the ages of 64 and a half and 65 and a half, that 12 month period, six months before your 65th birthday and six months after, it's guaranteed issue. Right. There's no health questions. You remember earlier I told you I had a guy that had a check, got a received a check for $18,600? Well, I sold him a $600 daily benefit for 31 days, wow. okay, which was the max daily benefit, 600. The max number of days is 31 days. So, and he was in the hospital for beyond 31 days, and he received a, a check. And I've actually had this happen twice, $18,600. Now, what if I've already met my max out of pocket? Is it still going to pay me? Are the two combined, two tied together? How does that work? Yeah, so even if one plan doesn't know about the other, mm -hmm. so the Medicare Advantage plan doesn't know about the hospital indemnity plan or vice versa, and one, the other plans don't care about each other. <laughs> and uh, so the hospital indemnity plan is going to pay you, and, and what I love about it, love about it, is the money that you, so let's just say that you had a five-day hospital stay, mm -hmm. and your, your copay for the hospital is $1,500 with your Medicare Advantage plan. The hospital indemnity plan is going to pay you $1,500. You take that $1,500 and you pay the Medicare Advantage, uh, you pay the hospital amount, mm -hmm. and even though it didn't come out of your pocket, that Medicare Advantage, uh, the max money you paid, pocket. goes yeah. towards your max out of pocket. Wow. So nice. if you had a $3,500 max out of pocket and you just paid them $1,500, now your max out of pocket is $2,000. The $1,500 didn't even come out of your pocket, 
but it still comes so off something your else big happens down the road, you're paying less out of pocket. Nice. Absolutely. Now you show these to every person that you present an advantage plan. Every right? single client, I give them the option, and I and, and on the sheet I have, I have the word optional because right. it's optional. I, I'm the least pressure salesperson you ever meet in your life. And I, I love to educate people and let them know what's available and let them make the decision. I, I, I just think the, the best way to make a decision is to be well informed. Yeah. And uh, and if people are going to go Medicare Advantage, I want them to see the uh, the uh, see if they can cover a few of the big things that that could cause a lot of money out of pocket. Now, last question: Hospital advantage, or I'm sorry, Medicare Advantage plans? They're all different. Right? Absolutely. Can we kind of build these to fit each plan? Absolutely. So if they have a two ninety five. Per day hospital stay, you can do three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. If they have a three fifty hospital copay, you can do three fifty. Right. So you build it to. If some plans have five day copayments, some days some plans have eight days. So you build it exactly to match that. And I have a lot of clients. I had a client in there a couple weeks ago. He says it was he had two ninety five for five days. So I was showing him three hundred dollars for five days. And the, and he says, well, people don't normally stay five days. He said, probably right. average. He said, so why don't we go? He said, because he saw the six hundred dollars on the screen. He said, what if it was six hundred dollars for three days? And so I showed it to him, and the premium was very little, just barely higher. And he said, I'd rather have the six hundred for three days because if I stay five nights, I'm still gonna get eighteen hundred dollars. If I stay three nights, I'm gonna get eighteen hundred dollars. But if I have the three hundred dollars, three hundred dollars a day, and I only stay three nights, I'm gonna get nine hundred dollars. Does that guy want to be an insurance agent? Because that's brilliant. Was, he was <laughs> smart. he was yeah. a genius. Yeah. And uh, so he's kind of changed my philosophy on right. selling this. And this was a client of mine. Nice. So, all right. Well, guys, here's the thing: we insure our cars so that we don't get a big surprise down the road. We have health insurance so we don't get a big surprise. This is what hospital indemnity plans do. Just make sure we don't get that big $1,500, $3,000 bill down the road. So Absolutely. All right. Thank you guys very much. Give us a call. Uh, you can call us at the number right there. Reach out to us, and we'll show you how we can help you cover those big expenses. Thank you.